Give it a nice little yank. We're gonna be installing a TRD Pro grill on my TRD Sport. Now this is a 2021 model, but it should work for any model that is gonna be, you know, having this style grill. And I'm gonna show you guys how I get this done. So if you need help doing it, you won't be confused. Let's go ahead and hop in on this install and I'll show you what we're doing. So the tools we're gonna be using for this, I got a 10 mil, a little plastic pry tool and a Phillips head. That should be all we need to get into this job. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and start taking stuff apart. All right, what we're gonna do here is loosen this 10 mil and that 10 mil right there on the grill. So go ahead, grab your socket and give it a loose, loosen. The next step in this process is gonna be removing this little pinch tab that holds this wire here and that one as well. And then we also have to take these clips out right here. I'm gonna grab my clip tool, pop this out, and pop these out. Now you can use like a flathead to get this out, but I'm gonna use my nylon tools just because, you know, I have them and they work great for this kind of stuff. All you gotta do to get this out is push on the corners there while you push down, and it should just pop right out like that. Same thing goes for this one. You just gotta push your corners down as you push down. So now that we got those two push tabs down through, you see this is just dangling here for that sensor. We can go ahead and unplug that sensor now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Pull it up this way, you can see. All you have to do to get that sensor out is push on this and pull it. I need both my hands, so give me one second. So now we got the front sensor disconnected here. We should be good to go to go ahead and grab the hold of the front here and pull it. I'm gonna switch to a different camera here so you can see that action. Give me one second. All you wanna do here is, you know, I don't exactly know what I'm doing. It sounds scary already, but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take this, and I believe give it a nice little yank. It should come right out just like that. That was scary. It's cold out, and I don't wanna break any plastic things, but it came right out after we took out those few little parts. So I'm gonna throw this on a bed of the truck and start taking the centerpiece grill out. So let's go back here. The next step here is gonna to be to remove these Phillips head screws all around there. We're gonna go ahead and get those out. There's a bunch of them, so. I think there's about 10. I'm gonna pull them out and we'll count them, but that's gonna take a long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and not waste your time on the camera. Now we got all the screws removed. I don't think that was necessary to remove. So only the ones that are close, I believe we have to remove, but we got all those removed. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sensor removed. Again, some more Phillips head, bop, 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 pop that out. Then we should be okay to pop that grill out. Because I don't wanna round off those big Phillips head bolts here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the 10 mil socket on those because there's no reason to not do that and we should be good to go now that we got the sensor removed here i'm going to leave that connected i did just pop that little clip out there you just give it a yank it'll come out i shouldn't have to take that one out i'm just going to leave that installed because we're pushing this grill out the next step is going to be see these little tabs here you have to push in on these and down just like the other tabs in and down to get those out so i need both my hands for that sorry i'm gonna go ahead and get that popped out as you can see there we just got the grill completely popped out not too bad i'm gonna get the other grill prepped and ready and see what we can do to get that installed Alrighty, so we just got the old grill out pretty easy once you got those push tabs in went around the whole you know the whole grill clockwise not a big deal getting that out but we got it all out now i'm gonna go ahead and get the other grill prepped Get some more space moved so I have some, you know, working space on the bed here. Now I, I went ahead and moved the old grill inside so we can take a look at the new grill here. So if you look, this is where the new sensors are going to go, but I, there's this insert here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. It looks like I just got to push these tabs in and maybe pull that off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I have the garnish now for that sensor. I'm going to go ahead and push it through just like this and get it all clipped up there might need both hands maybe and then they did bring me extra little clip things on that to keep that top part sealed in but what i like to do to get those on there i grab a socket that i just dropped in the snow so it's filled with snow now but i grab a socket like this and i put it on there and i kind of just push on and that'll get that to push on there so it doesn't push out if that makes sense See those little boop boop things? Yeah. Now that we got the sensor garnish installed, I'll go ahead and flip it around so you guys can get an idea what that looks like from the front. Fully installed there. I was a little bit concerned. So here's the lettering. If you take a look here, you know, it, it's not screwed in and as you can tell. But the thing is, I was concerned because I didn't come with screws and I was like, oh, well, that's kind of strange why I didn't come with screws. 
But after looking at this grill insert here, it doesn't require any of those screws that I took out. So I'm assuming the process is to use those screws in this. I think that's the plan because this one does not require any screws in it. That's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead now and screw in the lettering with those screws that came out of the grill. Give me one second to throw that together. All right guys, so we, uh, we just got the lettering installed. There you can see the screws in. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly drop this down and make sure everything is lined up. I don't wanna scratch my blue, but I'm gonna drop it in this way. I think this is, you know, I don't really have to do it this way, I guess. I don't know, I might hold it up and do it. I don't know what we're doing. Maybe I'll hold it up and push it in. That way I don't have to scratch anything. Yeah, maybe pushing it in this way is probably a smarter decision. Okay, so we got that installed. I got everything clipped up there. It made some gross noise while clipping. Did not like that, but everything is clipped together how it should be. I'm gonna flip it over here now and get that sensor bolted up. Looks pretty good though, huh? From the old grill, we removed these. I'm gonna slide them into these little slots right here so we have something to bolt the sensor into. Like that. Get the other one real quick. All right, guys, we got that sensor bolted up, good to go. We reused those old bolts that we took out. Same thing with that one. Everything should be good to go. I'm pretty sure I, that's all I can do with that wire there, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad through the grill. I don't think it will, but it might. But we'll go ahead and uh, throw this on. As you see, there is no bolt holes in what we took out, so that's interesting. We're gonna go ahead and throw this bad boy in. Don't watch me too hard, because I'm probably gonna mess up trying to line this up. I'm already messing it up. I think. I think that's it. I think it just goes in there. What do you think about that, huh? That looks pretty sick. Huh. <laughs> We're gonna come closer here. We're gonna get this bolted up and finished up plug in that sensor. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this sensor put back together. I'm gonna put it back into this little slot and get this bolted up. Give me one second and uh, we'll be able to finish this job up. Since we got that grill fully installed, I do wanna test and make sure that sensor is still gonna be working all right. We don't have any uh, unforeseen alarms on the truck because of that sensor change. And it's looking like everything is good to go here. Got no issues, nothing going on on the truck. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated in case, you know, something changes while I'm driving and that sensor starts alarming, but it seems to be good to go right now. We just finished up installing this TRD Pro grill and it looks amazing. I love the way this front end of this truck is starting to look and this really enhanced the way it looks. Big shout out to Taco Troop for sending me this. I think it looks great. And if you're looking for a TRD Pro Grill, check in my description. I'll leave a link to this one and it's gonna look pretty good on your truck because it looks good on my truck. If this helped you install a TRD Pro Grill, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and you know, help me grow this channel because we're gonna be making content like this, I think forever. We're gonna be building this truck up to be something amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Check this video out right here. It's pretty good, and I'll see you guys in the next one.